Yesterday, with the prohibitive favorite, Rachel Alexander, he won by more than 20 lengths. Today, aboard a 50-to-1 shot, second greatest long shot in Kentucky Derby history, he comes home with Mind That Bird. And there is Benny Woolley, the trainer, just off to my right as well. Uh, Burrell just handed him the trophy. Here's a man who drove 21 hours from New Mexico to be at this Kentucky Derby. 21 hours to get here. And then in a little more than two minutes, he took his name and the name of his horse from the agate type to the headlines. Tom? Right, Bob. 21 hours hauling his horse here from New Mexico. And my Ned Bird had been voted the champion two-year-old in Canada last year, but I don't think anyone saw this coming. No one saw it coming. I for sure did not see this coming. People that asked me about a possible triple crown winner, I said, I don't think so. I think it's going to be the type of race that you could run it five different times, have five different winners. Well, he ran off with this race with a different style than he's run before, but he showed a quick turn of speed when Calvin asked for it, so no reason that we don't have a legitimate contender to get it done this year. All right, a $9,500 yearling purchase came from New Mexico in a trailer, driven by his trainer who was in the Derby for the first time. Calvin Burrell takes him through the rail to pull the second biggest upset in Kentucky Derby history. But right now, gas up the truck, get the trailer ready, get a map of Maryland. The mind that bird crew is headed to the Freakness. And we are too for the second jewel of the Triple Crown, the Blackberry 134th Freakness Stakes presented by Cannon. Gotta get next, except for the West Coast, it's your local news. Then tonight starting at 8, 7 Central, Law and Order SVU, followed by Southland and Law and Order. For our entire NBC Sports crew, Tom Hammond saying so long from Churchill Downs. You've been watching the Kentucky Derby presented by Young Brands.